All right, now to give us more perspective in terms of what, of course, is expected to happen in this conflict that has broken out between Israel and the Palestinian faction Hamas. We're being joined by retired Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Davis, who is a military expert and also a senior fellow for defense priorities. He's joining us live on this broadcast. Now, Colonel Davis, at this moment, as things stand, Israel has given or dropped these leaflets which say that all people in northern Gaza must leave within 24 hours. That deadline is about to end. Are we now expecting to see some kind of a ground incursion by the Israelis? Well, you certainly have to expect it. Uh, it remains to be seen whether they'll strike right at that time. If they're using typical military protocol, they probably won't do it right then because the, the intent is to make the other side wait and, and be you know uncertain when it's going to come. So I wouldn't expect them to literally hit it at the 24-hour mark, but it could come literally at any time after that. And uh, according to many Israeli sources, uh, it's it's definitely coming. So I, I honestly can't imagine that they would have called up 360,000 reservists to just sit and watch the fence. So I think we can count on some kind of large incursion coming in the very near future. Thousand reservists are there. Many people say this is more than what Russia got in in the initial days of the war when it invaded into Ukraine. Do you expect the Israeli incursion could come from the north because it is in the northern part of Gaza that they've said that people should evacuate immediately? Uh, I'm certain that's the case. That there would be no value at all. In fact, that it would be horrible if they actually came in from the south after telling the civilians to go down there. So I'm sure that that's where they're going to go. One can conclude that the Israeli intelligence have determined that the majority, if not even all, of the the primary uh, ministry locations of the Hamas group are in that area. So they want to be able to isolate it and then to go in there. But, you know, as mm -hmm. you, you know, you're kind of implying in some of your reports, uh, it's a logistical nightmare for the Palestinian civilians to even get out if they want to from that. And of course, where are they going to go? What are they going to eat? What are they going to drink? Uh, because no aid has been allowed in. And then you also have the Hamas reports that they're telling the civilians not to leave. They want them to stay in place, uh, presumably to limit the Israeli attacks. But uh, I, I just don't know that that's going to succeed. But also at this moment, there are more than 130, you know, Israeli captives that are with Hamas. Now, one of the priorities that the Israelis will have is to try and free those captives. Some of these captives are also American citizens. What strategy do you think the Israelis will, in fact, rely on as they carry out this ground and offensive to try and secure those captives? Well, that, that's really the million dollar question that, that uh, Israel is you know, probably intentionally not answering. Because historically, Israel and, and really all in the West have uh, uh, sought to get all of the hostages back and, and to make whatever negotiations are prudent to be able to do that. But here, there, Israel seems to be running up against uh, competing requirements. One is to launch a ground incursion to destroy Hamas. And then the second is to get the hostages back. And those two things really can't work together because any hostage negotiation takes a lot of time. And it doesn't appear that Israel is willing to give that time. So... That mm -hmm. kind of a dark implication that uh, these uh, hostages may not be released and may not be freed. And I, I just fear for all of their lives. Absolutely, indeed. Thank you very much, indeed, Colonel Davis, for joining us and getting us those insights there. Thank you. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.